Hello everybody, I've decided to vlog a little bit today, mostly to keep myself accountable because I was thinking about um, really cleaning up my Pokemon corner. I, we're, I know we're getting some um, Shining Legends boxes or a box or something pretty soon like literally in a day or two so um i know we're gonna be opening up so much more new pokemon cards and i really want some organization because if we open up a whole box or two of shining legends and then it just adds to the pile i'm just gonna be like it's just gonna be a bigger mountain to tackle so I'm picking up the camera today to kind of keep myself accountable to at least attempt to organize it today at some point so um, that's my plan and another reason I really wanted to um, focus on that is because I have been for one it's fun like organizing is fun to me it's just it just feels like a little bit of a mountain to tackle which is fine um but i don't know like i it's 11 o'clock right now and i've just woken up well i woke up like an hour and a half ago but i'm just getting out of bed um because i haven't gotten enough sleep i have not been getting enough sleep the past couple of weeks like pretty much all of september i cannot remember i cannot remember the last time i had eight hours of sleep and I function best on nine. So I've been having like just not enough sleep and it's accumulated and I feel fine. It's just I'm tired all the time. And um, I've realized that I'm afraid of heat and humidity after like I feel a little bit traumatized from the heat stroke or heat exhaustion that I think it was a bit of a stroke, a heat stroke, but it could have just been severe heat exhaustion. I'm, I'm still not sure because I was not like actually diagnosed by a doctor, but um, I did talk to a doctor, but I wasn't like diagnosed. Um, although my sister is a doctor and she told me she thinks it was heat stroke. So whatever. Anyways, that's besides the point. I feel a little bit um, traumatized from that still. It's been a couple of weeks, but I'm trying to um, <clears throat> embrace uh, the fact that I am resilient. I'm trying to embrace joy and my day and not allow this irrational fear of heat and humidity get to me because most of my fears are pretty rational i think they're pretty um calculated a lot of my fears are very calculated fears like and they're very reasonable in my opinion to um, guard against however heat and humidity is not that's probably the, the most irrational fear i've ever had and i've i apparently just developed it <laughs> recently so um that's i mean it's rational in the sense that of course that could happen again if it if it gets that bad but like it's it's irrational to be afraid of heat that probably won't cause that because <laughs> like at this point i've been afraid of like um of humidity without the heat at this point so last night it was almost 100 percent humidity and it was like 97 percent humidity and it was like a 70 degrees 69 degrees 68 degrees and then it, it it lowered from there but for some reason i was like the the front of my brain was like this is fine you're gonna be fine it's not hot you're not sweating nothing is going on the back of my mind was like oh my god it's humid it's oh my god like you can't handle the humidity you can't do this um this is not okay that kind of thing so there's like this tug of war this opposition um going on in my brain and i was like mm -mm, no this is not this is no way to live so 
um, that's what I'm working with today and I want to really embrace life today um, in simple ways <laughs> nothing too crazy simple simple ways if there's one thing I've learned this past summer or this past few months like literally since May probably if there's been a huge lesson I've been learning and that is to really appreciate and not like force yourself to but like actually appreciate where you're at right now and what you have right now because it's not going to be there forever like and it, i'm not talking about like fearful reasons why you may lose what you have right now i'm talking about you know you're going to be growing you're you're going to um change your life over time that's how life is like nothing ever stays the same and um you will not have the life you have forever you will have different people in your life you will live different places um be doing different things be focusing on different things and um and yes of course things can happen um to you like you know bad weather and stuff like we're seeing that all over the world right now that could happen um you know all sorts of things can happen good things can happen bad things can happen but the thing that never stays the same is your life in general like your whole life will constantly change over time and um that that is all i need to know to really appreciate what i have right now like everything and you know a few years from now like one year from now my life could be totally different it could be better it could be better in many ways but that does not that should not take away from the now because i i mean like there's so much to enjoy and like revel in right now so that's really what i want to do and i don't want to get you know i don't want to um i guess lose myself in the enjoyment of my life so, to where that i never want it to change because of course you know um i want to grow and stuff so you know i don't want that to, i don't want it to forever stay the same but i really want to live life while like every moment while things are the way they are so that i can fully live the next moment and the next moment and the next moment and not have to look back and be like i wish things were back the way they were you know what i mean because i have will have fully enjoyed and been living in that moment so anyways um <laughs> i'm gonna um, get ready for my day and stuff and I will pick this back up when I start Organizing and stuff like that. Okay time to stop procrastinating. This is all getting Organized today Either that or it will start to get organized today one or the other So I didn't get very far in my organization I immediately stopped to make food because I realized that I was hungry. So this is our lunch. Buster, do you want some turkey? Do you want some turkey? You want some food? Why you do this? The sauce is like, <laughs> first of all, they stopped selling the sauce. I have to buy literally a, a case of it from the internet. Mm-hmm. I regret yep, nothing. Yep, and he puts it on everything. He ruins the flavor. No, no, it makes better. <laughs> it makes it better. No. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. So I have the, these mountains of cards here. These are like old ones. These are Japanese old ones, some sun and moon stuff, recent ones and then old ones. And then over here I have like my sun and moon collections and then like old ones here but I need to reorganize these and then here I have like them sorted by type but 
now I want to sort them by set. So I'm going to take all these out <laughs> and redo it. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do with myself right now. <sighs> yeah. Look at the Pichu. Buster, look at the Pichu. No. <laughs> I just peed. Buster, it's a Pichu. What? I, I just peed. Get out oh, of the way. That's nice. Buster, look at the Pichu. <laughs> so it's been like two or three days since the last clip where I was like starting to do the organize my Pokemon corner. I've made progress, which I will show you later, especially as I make even more progress. Um, but it's been taking me a little bit here and there every single day that's how insane my pokemon organization is okay um that said i'm upset today because it's the 30th by the way vlogtober is tomorrow i'm gonna start doing vlogtober i'm going to upload this tomorrow for vlogtober day one even though it's not even october yet technically so i could be like a day ahead you know um so yeah but i'm upset today because my earth paste which is my toothpaste that i use it's like um clay this is running out and i ordered more like tooth care stuff like a week ago and it has not come yet and i ordered it from like la i live in san diego that is not far like it just makes me think of how like um japan shipping takes three to four days from japan i usually get it in like three to four days and i order something from la and it's taking over a week and i'm just like wow and my toothpaste is running out so i'm like i need that package because there's like all sorts of goodies in there to brush my teeth with and i don't have it <laughs> So that's pretty annoying, but hopefully that comes tomorrow. And yeah, so today I'm going to continue organizing my little corner and going to a fan art um, Ghibli, uh, what do you call it? Exhibit, I guess, or like art show. Um, we're going to that like later, like towards the evening so maybe i'll show you some of that i don't know if i can film but maybe i don't know eating some really good gluten-free ramen you saw it oh my god was it so good we got 98 rye horns bomb 98 rye horn at a poke stop at the place too. yeah it was really good i i evolved it right away it's like my best right right on now and i got my poke plus um we went to the miyazaki ghibli <clears throat> fan art ex exhibition show what do you call it? Studio yeah, art it thing? It was like an art thing where it was like fan art. It was really cool. Um, we actually bought a painting that I really, really liked. Thank you, Babby. And um, I bought two prints as well. They're super good. I'll show you when I get home because the lighting is bad here, so. It's so spooky. Spooky. And dark. This is scary. <laughs> feels like Halloween. Okay. Let's look at these. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. 
Buster, that's not yours. It's not yours. Hey, don't eat it. Buster, don't eat it. Hey, hey, don't chew on that, fool. Okay, so this is what I got at the Ghibli art place. So this is what I got. This is a painting that I got. So it's Chihiro and Haku. Like, man, he got this wet. Buster. Anyways. Chihiro and Haku with the um, half dark moon, half light moon. And I thought it was really cool. This one really spoke to me. I was like, I was like, wow, wow. It's amazing. So that's really cool. It's on like a canvas. Um, so I'm going to have to find a good place for this. I don't know where I want to hang it up yet. I actually have some art over there that I need to hang up as well. Um, and these are the prints I got, obviously. Um, everyone loves the sit balls, so this is super cute. I had to get it, and then Kiki, this was adorable. I love it so much. I feel like that's me with a little kitty and her little um, bread because she delivers baked goods. Oh, it was just too perfect not to get. So, yep, that's what I got. I'm super happy with these. So cool. And then I still have these Pokemon cards to, um, to organize. We got this today. What is it? Electivire. But yeah, too much to do. Too much to do. And I have to reorganize those as well. <sighs> Sick, can you turn the camera on? Buster. <laughs> Ooh, I have mochi. Babe, let me get 90% of that bite. No, this is mm. mine. This is mine. Mm. <laughs> you had like almost all the mochi. Oh, look, it's a face. Kawaii. Oh yeah, so that's the end of Vlogtober day one, even though it's September 30th. And I'm gonna go to bed now with my Oddish, with my little baby. I farted. Can you not? <laughs> Good night. Good night.